We can find three types of similar solar heaters, and now I am showing the first type. This concave mirror focuses solar radiation into this receiver, similar to how this little mirror lights a cigarette, but our large mirrors will turn solar energy into heat and electricity. However, we know that the sun is constantly moving across the sky, and therefore our mirror must be constantly turning. This type is widely known, and we may have seen this first type many times, unlike this second type, which is known only to a small number of experts. This mirror focuses solar radiation in this way, on this receiver, which is motionless, but the mirror moves according to the movement of the sun across the sky. At the same time, we now see that the mirror of the first type must move together with its receiver. Of course, our brains can come to the conclusion that there is also a third type, where this mirror is motionless, but this receiver is moving. So, the third type should be similar to this experiment of mine. It is incredible, but this third type is unknown to mankind. Nobody has tried to research this type, although it can provide very cheap heat, steam and electricity. Because absolutely motionless mirrors are many times simpler and cheaper than such complex structures of solar heaters of the first or second type. I remind you that such solar heaters can convert solar energy into heating some liquid or air with a temperature of several hundred degrees. Then this thermal energy is used to generate steam for a turbine or comes into similar heat storage to generate steam and electricity at night. Our unknown third type began to be investigated by me a few months ago on the example of this very cheap mirror, which creates this spot of focused solar radiation. Let's look at how this spot moves from morning to evening due to the movement of the sun across the sky. Now it is morning, and we pay attention to this screen, and here we see the spot of radiation from my mirror, and time points of one day on the 1st of December are shown here. We see that my mirror is absolutely motionless, but the screen must move, and now I will show the same, but more slowly. At the same time, we see that this spot is always inside the screen, which imitates our receiver where the spot should heat some kind of heat transfer medium to a temperature of several hundred degrees. My third YouTube channel has a video where my research on the type of solar heater is described in more detail. The link to that more detailed video is below, and it describes not only similar experiments in other months, but also other information and ideas on the topic of my research on the third type of solar heaters. My research comes to the following main conclusions on this third type with motionless mirrors in comparison with this first type with turning mirrors. One square meter of mirror of the first type produces more heat than one square meter of our third type. Comparison of their heat production is described in that more detailed video, and usually the first type produces about two times more. But on the other hand, our third type can be several times cheaper, and the third type becomes economically viable if its square meter is at least two or three times cheaper than a square meter of mirror of the first type. In addition, we come to the conclusion that the third type requires a super cheap kind of mirrors, and now I am testing several kinds of super cheap mirrors. For example, it can be primitive concave mirrors made of cheap reflective film, or it can be such a mirror balloon. In addition, I constantly test similar mirrors based on expanded polystyrene, and recently I started testing different kinds of mirrors based on cheap and long-lasting concrete. On the other hand, if you want to use some beautiful and expensive mirror, I recommend you to forego our third type solar heater and use the first or second type. So, I repeat that the link to my more detailed video about my experimental and theoretical research of the third type is below.